we were expecting that common sense would take some sort of precedence in the mind of the government. But that hasn't happened. So we went to work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and enough is enough. Because if the government is going to disrespect us, then we have no option but to pull our resources tomorrow and start a full-scale strike at the Crown Corporations. I'm saying this candidly with total disbelief. I can't believe we're in this situation. I can't believe we're in a situation where we have Crown Corporations that are doing so well and want to bargain with us and we have a government and Scott Moe's government is saying to the corporations that they can't bargain with us. So that's why we're here today. And that's we're not asking for outrageous increases. And like I said, all we are asking for are increases consistent with the rate of inflation. I mean, you're gonna to have to ask Scott Moe why he's telling our members that have produced over $400 million worth of profits in the last year that they have to take nothing. I can't explain it, and he hasn't explained it to me. I sent a letter to him saying, let's have a discussion, and he sent me back a letter saying, sorry, Jerry, I don't get involved in collective bargaining. It's kind of like the, you know, the old wizard behind the curtain in The Wizard of Oz. You know, he's pretending that he doesn't exist, but you know, he's playing no role, but the simple reality is he's behind the curtain calling all the shots. My team has been here all week. I'm here for a solution. I'm not here for a fight. Um, but ultimately, it takes two to tangle, and you can't get an agreement if you're playing solitaire.